everyone. I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the FA-18C Hornet and we're looking at using Takan navigation and in particular Takan in combination with runway rails. So first, what is Takan? Tactical air navigation. It allows us to navigate to wherever there is a Takan station. There can be Takan stations on runways or near runways on aircraft carriers. And in aircraft, if you want to find one on an airfield, we can click on that airfield and see if it's got any Takan. That has nothing. So what we're going to do now is zoom out and look for the Takan sign. It's a triangle type sign. There's one. This is actually a Vortac, but it's close enough to a Takan. Click on this guy here and you can see Takan 96 X-ray. It'll always be a number and then an X-ray or a Yankee and you'll have an identifier as well. And in this case, Mike Alpha. The identifier is there so you can check that you've reached the correct station. In our video, we want to reach this Stennis here. Now I can't click on it and find the Takan. What I can do is go to the briefing, Alt Bravo. I can see that in this case, situation carrier is Takan 11 X-ray. So 11 X-ray we're going on today. It is a radio based system and you must maintain a line of sight. So if I'm trying to find an airfield Takan that's behind a mountain, it won't work. It's just something to bear in mind. Mind. So on our UFC, we click on Takan here. We can have transmit receive. This allows us to find a bearing and a range to a Takan station or receive where we can only find a bearing to a Takan station. And with either of those, we have the ability to have air to air here. So air to air transmit receive, air to air receive, where we can talk to an airborne station. We're going to do transmit receive today for a carrier. Here is X-ray or Yankee. So we're going to X-ray and the numpad. We're going to type in 11 enter and then we've got to turn it on you may have to click this a few times for it to turn on sometimes it's like that sometimes it's not and the tacan is now on station 11 transmat receive x-ray without air to air next we're going to go to our hsd i know it's shown down there but for extra ease we're going to go here first i want to confirm that i've managed to tune into the tacan station so because we've got the triangle symbol there that is the geographic location of that tacan station in relation to me there we can also see that the Takan station is from me 025 magnetic bearing and it's at 13.4 nautical miles at our current rate we will be there in 2 minutes and 15 seconds and the Takan station identifier is CAR and that is how I set it on the carrier we've also got this guy here if our Takan station is outside of our compass rows this is a heading pointer telling us how to get to our station and we can zoom in a little further if we want Next, we can box it so that we've got more information and particularly up on the HUD here now, we've got 13.4 to Takan Station CAR and we've got a heading indicator. That heading indicator there is for our Takan Station. So if we were to unpause, we would turn. And that there is the heading. And in fact, if you look in the distance, that is our carrier there. So all we need to do now is follow the Takan marker there in the HUD or we could do it here we could follow it to that point there but we want to be a bit more complicated than that we want to get to this Takan station on a particular course because imagine if we're landing on a runway we've got to come down exactly the right course so let's get that done what we can say is that the exact course of this runway is 348 magnetic so we can use the course here left and right click will increase or decrease it and you can see the heading there so we're going to go to 348 magnetic and pointing in that direction. And that's going to give us guidance information to not only get to this guy here, but also on this course line, what we call a radial intercept. Note that the marker on the heading tape has disappeared because that was only useful without a course line. We now have a course line to follow. Note that if we want to erase our course line, unbox Takan and box it again. We we'll also see our radial there. So we now want to head this direction to merge with the radial, then turn onto the radial and head towards the Takan station. Additionally, we have more symbology because we have a course line. We have our course line arrow here. This is showing that our course line is relative at that angle to us at the moment, heading in that direction. What we want to do is maneuver so that this arrow is in the middle of our path vector path marker here and facing upwards. Upwards would mean we're going the right way, downwards would mean we're going on the reverse the reciprocal these two circles here are our course line deviation if we are deviated from our course line and we are obviously we're miles off to the left then these lines are showing that the course line is off to the right and we need to go right deviate right to get onto that course line 
So, with all that symbology and the addition of the HSD here, let's go and get that done. We'll do a sharp turn to the right. This is a lot closer to the Takan station than we would usually do it, so the manoeuvres are going to be more extreme than usual, but just to show you the idea. So we're going perpendicular to the course line. You would usually not go perpendicular. You would usually have a much smaller angle than 90 degrees. So usually come in at about 30 degrees, 20 degrees like that. We can zoom in a bit now for some extra resolution. Start turning now so that we can think about merging with our course line. The idea is we want to turn towards the Takan station while we are at the same time merging on the course line. Don't worry about elevation or speed. This is not a landing tutorial. We're just looking at the basics. Okay, the, the little circles in the HUD have disappeared. That means we are now on the course line. All we've got to do now is get the arrow in the HUD in the center of our path marker there. You can see that it's to the right, which means we need to adjust right slightly. Five miles to the carrier. So we're ever so slightly left still. So we still need to adjust right a little bit. Okay, we're merging now and back a little. Let's try and snatch that line right in the middle of the path marker, otherwise known as a velocity vector. And that's pretty much it bang on. We just need to hold course now until we reach the Takan station. And we're pretty much over it now. You can see we are directly over the carrier at the correct course radial to land on that carrier. So that's the basic use of Takan and marrying it with radial interception. I hope that was useful and see you later.